All right, guys, listen up. So I know in recent years, in light of COVID, we haven't been able to do all the things we wanted to do, but I'm happy to report that for season 2022, we have an unlimited budget! So with that in mind, we are going to be having a very special guest from the movie Nope, which we will be reviewing for this week's episode, who's going to be joining us. Oh my god, do you think it's Jordan Peele? He's one of my favorite directors. I loved him in Toy Story 4. You know, I'm pretty sure I saw Kiki Palmer in Tate this morning. It's not Kiki Palmer. Can you give us a hint? It's one of the breakout stars in the movie. Is it the girl from Euphoria? I love her. Was she even in the movie? I don't know, I didn't see it. What? No, it's not Barbie Ferrier. Guys, it's someone even better. It is... Gordy the Champ! Hey guys, I'm Gordy. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> Thank you all so much again for having me on the show. Can you believe this is the first time I've been asked to be interviewed for the movie? Yeah, I wonder why. Guys, come on. We're going to treat Gordy with the same respect we would have for any other actor who, ca who came on the show. Would you be scared if a different actor that portrayed a villain came on the show? Heath Ledger, Hulking Phoenix, Jared Leto? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you want water you can drink I'm good, okay. thank you so much. So, how did you get your start in acting? Well, when I was a young chimp growing up in the jungle, I just felt a real passion for the arts, you know? And then I moved to Hollywood and became an extra in one of the Planet of the Apes movies, and the rest is history. You know, Gordy's not as scary as I thought he'd be. Yeah, he, he actually seems really chill. You know, I actually almost went to Emerson. Well, it was my safety school. I got into NYU Tisch, and things really took off for me after that. Oh, you... Oh, could I get that water now, please? Yeah, sure! Thank you. Gordy, no! Oh. Yeah! Come on! Yeah! Alrighty, guys, new season. Get excited, new faces, old faces, well, really just this old face. We got Owen Kelly today, welcome to Real Reactions. Today we are talking about not yes, not maybe, we're talking about nope. That's right, the Jordan Peele blockbuster from this summer. What's a bad miracle? They got work for that. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. All right, let's get right into it. Owen, what do you think? Oh boy, Josh, I'll tell you. <laughs> I watched this movie back when it came out, and I was not a fan. I thought it was self-indulgent and pretentious. I watched this movie last night. I like it a lot. Wow. I think this movie's pretty great. What a flip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Kelly, what do you think? Love it, hate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me analyze the thoughts here. No, no. Nope? Is that a no? Yeah, it's a no. I mean, actually, I think this movie is kind of like below my expectations. This guy, Andrew, is super hot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like it. But I don't really like the plot. I mean, the story is kind of too simple. I would say the acting is pretty great. I went through to the movie this summer. It was so much fun. I didn't think it was as deep as some of his other works, but I still thought it was just a really fun time. For me, it reminded me a lot of Jaws, which is one of my favorite movies, with them trying to catch, you know, a monster that's kind of in the unknown. Acting was awesome. Love me some Daniel Kaluuya, Kiki Palmer. The whole cast is just such a good cast for this movie. My only wish, more Keith David, OJ and uh, Emerald's father. Also more Gordy. Wish we had some more Gordy, but we'll get into that later. We gotta talk about the main event of this movie. 
The Monster. The Monster, this movie, is unlike anything at least I've ever seen in any monster movie ever, any horror movie ever. Jean Jacket, what a name, Jean Jacket. Was it scary? Were you scared? What did you think of its powers? What did you think when it went all big and like, whoa? Just give me your thoughts, Owen, let's hear it. Initially, I thought the idea was really interesting about how like they think it's a ship, but then the ship turns out to be the aliens. I thought that was a really cool idea. How it like lingers in the clouds, that's like terrifying to me. But once it like goes all weird, I didn't like it. I thought, really? it, I thought it was too much. Like what 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 even what caused it to do that? Tommy, I agree with all of that. It's cool. Kind of simple. It's just a typical UFO. <laughs> it eats people. <laughs> it eats people. I think it's kind of cool because and I mean, speaking of this, we should bring up the probably some things of the movie because it is people somehow, you know, like some politician, mm. you know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. Um, yeah, I gotta agree with you guys. Monster for me, it looked awesome. I liked, I, I get what you're saying though with it not being that scary, but I thought it was scary. That scene when they're at a jupes park and it eats them and you see people getting eaten, that, that just made like, that made me kind of like claustrophobic. Dang, this monster. I guess this whole movie just eats you up, you know? Let's transition into some themes for this movie. What do we think are some of the main themes that Jordan Peele put behind this movie? <laughs> the first time I watched this movie, it kind of felt stupid. Like, I didn't pick up on a lot of this stuff. But then I read a lot of people's letterbox reviews. I think they're right. The theme I picked up on the most is like, the gaze. Monster, it, when you're underneath it, it looks like an eyeball. That's why if you look at it too, that's when it eats you. Yeah, you look at yeah. I think that's just really interesting about like how, especially how it's framed in Hollywood. So like, Jupe is even like trying to like commodify yeah. and monetize his finding of of the monster and putting people in horrible danger. It gets them killed. Let's go to you, Kelly. I think uh, exploitation, gory, the horse. Like the horse like would appear in the Hollywood movie Jupe's show. I think it's probably people treat this kind of like unfairly, mm -hmm. and also people themselves get the punishment by the monster. The monster eat people, of course, and it's kind of like the people eat the animals. Um, so I think exploitation is kind of like the symbol. You're totally right with exploitation, them using Gordy in the beginning and they're exploiting him. TMZ reporter trying to get a photo of the monster as well and he's trying to exploit OJ and Emerald's efforts for himself. Totally agree, I think this movie's definitely about exploitation. You even have the uh, cinematographer who's kind of anti-exploitation. He gets the shot and he just yeah. nopes right out of there. Even Emerald and OJ, you could argue, are trying to exploit this event for their own game. It seems like they want to capture the monster to get something never captured before, yeah. whereas everyone else kind of like you said, wants to capitalize on it. I think this movie's also about control and what you can and can't control. Jupe has that experience with Gordy where they give a little give a little fist bump over here and he has a connection with Jean Jacket, makes him think he can control Jean Jacket, but he doesn't have any control. You have Emerald and OJ trying to control the technology and electricity and they can only do so much. They can't yeah. control the horse and the horse gets them fired and it's just out of their control. The Emerald getting that photo, taking that power back, I think is a theme I noticed throughout Nope. If you have real reactions, we love our furry friends. We love Gordy. We gotta talk about Gordy. It ties in with all these themes that we've been talking about. I think it was such an interesting, almost tangent for the movie to take, so especially when he's in his <laughs> house and he's got this secret room. <laughs> this is probably a traumatic event for him. He's capitalized on it, almost exploited his own trauma for like clout. I mean, I don't like Gordy. He suddenly get angry or sad. People do things like uh, uh, not obey of nature. Mm -hmm. Like they just try to against it and there should be a rebellion. I mean, I don't want to repeat, but like you guys said, you know, I wasn't sure at first where they were going. Once they kind of went into the full scene with the trauma and everything about exploiting not only trauma and also just like how Steven Yeun's character thinks he can control everyone, everything. I didn't know what was going to happen. I knew something bad was going to happen based on the beginning of the movie when they show him walking across the set, blood on his paws, just looking right at you. That's called a scary of all Because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know how Ape Gordy is going to go. Um, 
What's up with the shoe at the beginning? The shoe, yes. Thank you for bringing that up. It's a bad omen. Something that shouldn't happen. It's associated with a bad event. And I guess Steven Yeun Juke takes it as a good omen. People Gordy, like money. People like money, but also yeah. like Gordy, he went ape and he profits off of that. People were suffering and he's just profiting off of that. But it's at a cost and he gets eaten and everyone else gets eaten. So I think that's, you know, that's a very important point you made, Kelly. What are some of our favorite scenes, our favorite moments from No? The blood, like, Oh, running oh. Oh, down the window. Oh, yes. I love that. That's some classic horror energy oh, right there. Yeah. I I really love when the first time Emerald and OJ walk into the tech store mm -hmm. and they're just walking down the aisle and she looks at one woman, she's like, Oh, you're pretty. And then just keeps walking. <laughs> My favorite moment has to be the final scene when they finally get that shot and they use the well. I really appreciated how they introduced that in the beginning, but that's how they do it because there's like little to no electricity involved. So that's how Emerald was able to get it. Here on Real Reactions, we love our weird, crazy ratings. So let's think, how should we rate this movie out of 10? Since he was here earlier, show some respect. Maybe we rate Gordy. How many Gordies would you rate this movie out of 10? I'm gonna do a solid eight mm -hmm. Gordies out of 10 Gordies. And I think this is a film that like inherently you have to rewatch at least once. Yeah. Cause I got so much more out of it upon a second watch. Just something holding me back from like absolutely loving it. Yeah, I definitely agree. It's a lot that we didn't unpack that I feel like this is the movie, like you said, Owen, you have to rewatch just to fully get out of it. Cause I remember leaving the theater being kind of like, I liked it. But I don't know what to think. As I talked with my friend more and more about the movie, it clicked for me and I was like, okay, there was some really good like scene building, character building, world building, metaphor stuff like that. I didn't notice on first watch because you're just so terrified of what's going to happen next. All right, Kelly, we know it was a no for no, <laughs> but how many Gordies would you give it out of 10 Gordies? It's six. Not as harsh as I thought. Gordy is what I wanted. <laughs> the mentally, not the mentally, physical. Not the physical, not the physical thing. thing. His spirit is trying to get uh, escape from the trap thing yes. and trying to find the freedom and also being rebellious. I gotta say, solid 7.5. There's something holding me back from absolutely loving it. While it isn't as nuanced as maybe like Get Out or Us, I think it doesn't need to be. I think it's all about the excitement and the spectacle. I think there's just a lot there that you have to really think about and it's not all clear on the first watch. And I think that's what makes it so great. I need more time with no. Maybe some deleted scenes, maybe there could be a little yeah. more fleshed out between what like Steven Yoon is really wanting to do here. And even why OJ is like the way he is. I think I would like to learn more about him and his relationship with Emerald as well. All right guys, well, awesome. Thank you so much for watching, that was no. Hope you like our realist, real reactions today. Thank you so much for joining us.